What is up my number babies? It's your girl Nova Star and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because it's vibe over here. Okay. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing another shower care routine. But today's focus is not really the shower care routine. It's more so the after shower care routine. Like the stuff that I do after the shower. Um, I'm going to be going into like deep detail about that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to talk as I'm doing it or if I might just come back and like explain all the stuff I was using. I'll probably just do a little combination of the two. Um, but I'm not going to do too much talking and it's not going to be like a whole lot of like the little shower scene because like I said, today's video is not about that. It's about the post shower care, the after shower care. Okay, so we are about to go ahead and jump straight into the routine. Peace. Already know what baby. So right here I am using the Dove Exfoliating Body Wash. Now I'm not gonna do too much talking during this part just because it's not really about the actual shower routine, okay? It's about the after shower care routine. Um, and then too, like I said, I'm not gonna be showing a whole lot, but I am going in with the Dove Exfoliating Body Wash. This one is a pretty good body wash. I really like it. The bees isn't like super super coarse, but you do feel them, so that's why I like the body wash. And then too, it's Dove. You can't go wrong with stuff okay so like i said i'm not gonna do too much talking during this process so yeah Alrighty, so now I'm going in with my Tree Hub Peppermint Scrub. Y'all, this one is like the candy cane one, and it smells so, so good. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. Now, I did have this one from last year, but it is brand new. I had two of them, and I just opened this one, y'all. And it's not like an ordinary peppermint. It's like got this sweetness to it. It's just, oh my God, I can't even explain it. It just smells so, so good, and the texture of it. Like, look at that, baby. Look at it, yes. And then, too, like, if you look real, real close, it has, like, these little red specks. And I guess that's supposed to be, like, a little peppermint. But anyway, y'all, it smells really, really good. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I'm actually about to get ready to get out. But if y'all was wondering what I was doing, I was watching a movie. I was watching X-Men, and the way I got a position, you can see the TV straight into my shower. And I just love it, y'all, because sometimes your girl be wanting to still watch her TV shows, okay? But anyway, so right now, I'm just going in with my towel warmer because y'all know it just would not be a complete shower routine without the towel warmer. Okay, no, but baby. So right now, as y'all saw, I just got the shower. I just towel dry. Now I'm about to shave. Now, usually you guys always see me shaving in the shower but lately I've been using my electric razors I use my flawless one for my bikini area and then I use this one right here my Panasonic one for like my legs and things like that now I do still shave underneath my arms like I said I just use this for my bikini and this one for my legs so that is what we're about to do right now um, this right here is a fruit cake soothing shave oil and you can use this before the shower or after the shower. It says um, using a few drops rub into skin as a pre or post shave oil to shave with or to soften the hydrate skin and hair. So that's what we're about to be using and this is called fruit cake. So I'm literally just about to apply a little bit on my fingers, rub it onto my bikini area, and then we're gonna shave that. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna shave our legs. So yeah, um, it smells really, really good. It does smell kind of like a fruit cake. It kind of gives me like the vibes of like a watermelon or something like that. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit like that. And then like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my bikini area and I'll be a bag. Okay, y'all, so with this razor, you can use this one wet or dry. Um, what I think I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of the oil on my legs. And then we're just going to go ahead and start shaving. I'm not going to put a whole, whole lot. Just because I don't want to, like, mess with the blades of my razor or nothing up. <clears throat> I'm not saying it can do that, but I feel like over time that that oil can kind of, like, mess it up. So, yeah, guys, this is what it looks like. Now 
now so far like i said i've been using this for a couple of days and i really really love it it's really really easy i don't get no nicks or no cuts or anything like that and like i said you can either use this wet or dry i've never used it wet i always just use it like mostly dry or like i said i apply like an oil or something as far as in wet like i don't know if they mean like directly in the shower you can use it or wet i'm guessing so but i don't know i just still prefer to use it this way so yeah alrighty so next up I am using my gastelic acid I might be saying that wrong but y'all know what I'm trying to say now this is like a face toner but it helps with like complexion and even out your skin tone stuff like that so I do apply this underneath my arms now I don't do this every single day but I do do this like every other day now this right here is my slick and then this is the 10 skin I was debating between the two but I just went on and decided to use the slick um, I've never used this one, but it's pretty much the same thing as the Tint Skin. It's just like a um, razor type of bump remover type thing. It just helps with ingrown hairs, razor burns, razor marks, things of that nature. I'm going to apply that in my bikini area. Next up is my Cocoa Butter Lotion. This one is the Fade Milk, which helps with like discoloration, marks, pigmentation, things of that nature. And then I'm following up with the Dove Glow and Shea Butter. I do just mix the two together just because it's easier to apply like that than, you know, just doing it one by one. Work smarter, not harder, okay? Um, and like I said, I'm just applying that all over my body. Next, I'm using the Aveeno Body Oil. Y'all, I'll talk about this stuff so much. I know you're probably tired of it, but I love it. Like, this stuff really, really helps with your skin complexion. It's supposed to, like, help even you out within, like, six or, what is it, seven or five days or something like that. And it really does what it says it's supposed to do because, baby, when I say my complexion is just so even and glowing, like, look at that glow, baby. Yes, look at that. And then I am going in with the Dove deodorant. This I've been using for like a month or so now, and I really do like it. It almost feels like a gel, but it is a solid bar. And yeah. Okay, now, baby, so I am back, and like I always say, feeling good smelling good okay y'all so this little part is not gonna be long at all because most of these things i've already talked about so i'm not about to just you know i'm not about to go all into detail but i will talk about the fade milk now i had this for a while but i really wasn't using it just because i don't necessarily care for the texture of it but i see when i apply it to like other body oils or like other body lotions and stuff like that it blends and just smooths in a lot better when i use it by itself to me it kind of like feels like it sits on top of my skin like i have to rub it rub it in or like it had like like that white little coating on top versus like i said when i mix it with something it just applies into my skin and like i said i really wanted to start using it because it's like really really good y'all it's the um the palmer skin success with vitamin e anti-dark spot fade milk tone correcting body lotion improves the appearance of dark spots uneven skin tone brightens skin corrects discoloration deeply moisturized and then it has like this little y'all probably can't even see that i'm gonna try to put a picture on the side if i remember but it's it got like five percent of it's some ingredient that i can't say y'all but i'm guessing there's something good in there but anyway y'all um so like i said this is like damn near brand new so i'm about to really start getting into using that um now this right here the slick like i said i did compare this to this now this was my first time using it um i had it before but it was weird y'all like the seal of it like when i opened this part it was like a fly right here and i didn't use it and i had like the little sample size so i i just tossed it i was like you know what mm -mm. so this one i made sure it was good and everything so yeah um they're pretty similar like they're the same size this one is just like that it's that girl okay that holy grail like this one i swear by um and it's for like ingrown hairs razor bumps shaving wax and stuff like that this one too is for um ingrown hairs it's called ingrown rescue solution treats prevents bumps ingrown hairs plus razor burn so we gonna see what it's about um it's very very similar to this like even when i apply it it's like the same type of texture it's just it feels very similar like i said i can't really give like a full in-depth description of it because i only been using it since today so we gonna see i'll talk more about it in other videos though if i like it if i don't like it or whatever the case is um this is another product that y'all that i did use i just didn't show it i used this on my bikini area and this is a brightening a brightening vitamin e serum brightens invisibly even skin tone 
Now, I'm not sure the name of this brand because it's ITK. I don't know if that's it. it yeah. I don't really know. But I got this from Walmart. And this is another thing that I can't go into depth with just because this is my first time using it. Um, It did apply really good. It's just like a little serum type of thing. And I just put a little bit on my fingertips and just rubbed it like outside my bikini area. You know, like a little bikini line. And baby, it felt good. Um, I'm just happy that I'm seeing like such the results that I'm seeing with just like this stuff and other stuff that I was using that I showed in my previous video. If I remember, I'll try to link it. Um, like I said, these two things I did just kind of add to the regimen because I just wanted to try it out. But, um, anyway, so moving right along, I use the, <clears throat> excuse me y'all, sorry. I use the fruit cake soothing shave oil now i did apply this on my bikini area and on my legs now for my bikini area i did use the flawless bikini razor and i love y'all it's like a little electric razor and it gets the job done okay like i'm trying not to shave at all so if i'm not shaving then i use the nair now i do still love the nair especially like that roll on but sometimes you know you got to put it on for 10 minutes before then you gotta wait for 10 minutes and all that stuff so like, it depends on what type of shower routine I'm trying to do. Like, if I'm doing an in-depth shower routine, then it's cool. But if I'm trying to do, like, something kind of quick or if I got to go somewhere, sometimes you don't have time to be waiting at 10 minutes, okay? So, the electric razor is really, really nice. And, y'all, it's super affordable because, like, on Amazon, it's only $10. It wasn't that cheap when I first, first got it. I think it was, like, $20, $30. It was, like, $30, $40, actually. But it's a really good razor, y'all. Um, I absolutely love it. Now, the Panasonic one that I have for my lash, you can use that on your bikini area as well. I have I've tried it out i just prefer the other one because it's a little bit smaller and easier to control but the one i did use on my legs is really nice and that's another one that you can use wet or dry and then too um it has an option like you can leave it flat or if you need like a little closer shave you can like raise the button and it kind of like gives you like a little extra inch or whatever to like get a closer shave um i haven't had any nicks or cuts or anything like that and i've been using both of them kind of like periodically for about two weeks or so and the results are amazing now i'm not saying i would never ever shave my legs with a regular razor again but i just like to have the option and i'm not a waxing girl okay like i ain't about that life like i have a whole waxing kit like everything but i just mm -mm, i can't do it y'all like i try to do a review on it uh-uh. Like, if any companies ever want to reach out to Wexen or any other companies that's like a Wexen company want to reach out to me, don't. Okay? Just don't do it because, baby, that's painful. Like, oh, my God. Don't get me long wrong. Like, the product is amazing, but I'm just not about waxing. Like, ouch. Mm -mm. But anyway, y'all, um, I'm trying to think of all the stuff I use. I don't have the body wash in here because it was just like an ordinary um dove exfoliating body wash it's nothing really too fancy to talk about so yeah um the deodorant i used was this one right here the dove this one is cotton flower and sandalwood um and it's a zero aluminum so it's no aluminum here and then this stuff right here is the cut got, got <laughs> see we got solic acid i know i'm probably saying that wrong but y'all know what i'm trying to say and I got this because I ran out the ordinary and I feel like I want to get no ordinary. And it's pretty much the same exact ingredient that's in the ordinary. You got silic acid. And um, you, I do use this on my face as well, but I also use it underneath my arms. This to lighten them up and stuff like that. Like, I don't have an issue with discoloration under my arms, actually. But I just, I don't know, sometimes, you know, yeah, I just want to prevent it just in case, okay? But, um... I think that is it, y'all. I just bought some new stuff over here, so I'm trying to make sure I don't pick up none of this new stuff. I really want to show y'all this stuff over here, but I'm going to wait because I'm doing a video about that. Um, But, yeah, so I guess that's it. Um, Like I said, both my razors I got from Walmart. Um, If I remember, hopefully I remember, I'll try to put it in my Amazon store because, like I said, that flawless one on Amazon is like $10, y'all. So that's not bad at all. So... Yeah, what just happened to old girl? I'm watching a lifestyle movie, y'all. Something just happened to, to, to this girl. But um, anyway, y'all, so like I said, that's pretty much the end of the video. Let me know if you have any questions or anything. And like I always say, everybody not gonna like you, but everybody don't got good taste. Okay, and with that being said, peace, love, and happiness.